Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Got a beautiful solar charging day here today, and we're going to get on to tying up those two Victron Energy Smart Solar Charge Controllers side by side and show you the difference it makes compared to what I've got going. So it's time. Good day to do it. So it should be perfect time to show you guys why I want to tie those two Victrons together compared to running one Victron and one EP Ever charge controller, which I've been doing for, oh, many, many months now. So here you can see I've got the, the two strings, uh, which I've mentioned before, top string 500 watts tied in series, bottom string 500 watts tied in series. And now that they're both catching full sun, I can go and show you what that looks like on the two charge controllers. So right here in full sun is the EP Ever with this MT50 uh, control setting control box that is really a must if you're using that. And you can see out there in full sun, 20 amps coming in and I'll try and show you the wattage here. Two hundred and ninety-five watts, three hundred watts on a five hundred watt string. Not satisfactory. Compared to the uh, Victron charge controller right there, 400 watts. So fully a 100 watt difference. And that's pushing uh, 28 amps. And I'll quickly run back over to here. Oops, and the light just went off. And 22 amps there. So this is typically what I see. And I have checked all the panels out there on this particular string. They're all working fine. They're putting out the proper voltage. And at times, now this will jump up to, to 30 amps and, and near 500 watts, as it should. But it takes a lot of breaks in between doing that, where comparatively speaking, that Victron, it just keeps it opened up all the way, all the time. It doesn't hesitate for more than one second. Big difference. At the end of the day, for example, if I have a thousand kilowatt hours on this, I'll have about 600 on the EP ever. Day in and day out, day in and day out. So now I am going to uh, disconnect this, uh, undo all that wiring and bring it back and then up and over and tie it up another 100 volt 50 amp controller identical to this one and going to put it side by side and my expectations are are they will run more identical uh, than what i've been getting with the mixed charge controllers so that's the idea i'm hopeful that it will work so i'm going to start tearing it apart and just to give you another comparison, now it's early in the charging day, but just to again show you uh, the difference. Right here is where we're at so far today, 780 watt hours. Uh, that's what I meant to say before was watt hours instead of kilowatt hours. So there it is on the uh, Victron, 780 watt hours so far today. And I can look in 0.53 kilowatt hours or, you know, that's the difference. And that's just the way it goes day in and day out. So for whatever reason, uh, and in watching these over many, many months, in fact, probably about the past year actually now, uh, that's the kind of difference. And so at the end of the day, this will be up maybe uh, 1.2, 1.3 kilowatt hours, which is very nice. And I would expect 
that this one would do the same, but it just doesn't and never has. It does, I mean, it is working and charging, but you know, that's the difference. And that's uh, what I want to remedy. And here, just one more look, you can see uh, right here, you know, it's 65 volts. Reading the battery, 14.2, 26.6 amps coming in. Here, the voltage, 70 volts roughly, uh, pushing 27 amps. Now there, they're pretty identical, 27 amps coming in there. 27 amps there. So sometimes they are doing very, very close. And I'll watch this a little closer and I will show you that sometimes this will just take a big break and it won't let in uh, that amount of uh, amperage. Right now, being very close, only an amp or so discrepancy, but uh, many times it's, it's a much greater discrepancy right now. And the reason these uh, panels also are not pumping out 500 watts on either array is uh, they are quite hot right now. Those panels are very warm. And just one more clear shot in full sun. 21 amps, amps coming in off the EP ever. 28 amps off the Victron. So that is under full sun with no obstruction to the array out there whatsoever. Now I need to mention that uh, in a lot of the intermittent clouds that we get rolling through here, uh, it's even more of a discrepancy. But even right here, you know, seven amps, that's a difference. Uh, that adds up at the end of the day. So here Victron opened up uh, on hot panels, uh, 400 watts, 300 watts. So staying in, under full ideal charging conditions, EP ever lagging behind. And like I said, if a few clouds started to roll through, this thing has a harder time keeping up. Where this thing just moves so quick, if there's a cloud there, it drops the very second the sun comes back, it opens right back up where, where this one uh, just doesn't, takes its time. So I was able to cap capture that discrepancy there pretty good by watching it closely this afternoon. So yeah, 21 amps off that EP ever, 28 amps off the the Victron. So, <clears throat> and it's battery bank up to 80% full, so it's going to get a nice full charge today or close enough. And I'm going to just go ahead and let this run throughout the day. When the sun stops uh, hitting those panels, I'll disconnect everything, rewire it up uh, tonight, and then tomorrow we'll be able to go side by side comparison with the two Victrons and see if we don't eliminate this big of a discrepancy. And right here, I was hoping I would catch it. And there it is, 11 amps coming in off the EP ever. 25, 26 amps coming off the Victron. And this is how it goes. And that is when the battery is at 85% full. It should still be wide open, uh, giving me absolutely as much power as it can. And the EP ever always starts winding down, slowing down, just, just way too much. Yeah, 20, 25 amps, 70 volts, 83 volts, 10 amps. That's the difference, and that is making such a huge difference at the end of a charge day. So I'm glad I was able to stick it out this afternoon and keep jumping back here to show you. This is what I have seen throughout the history of running the EP Evers. Even when I was running two of them on this system before I ever introduced Victron, I introduced the first Victron, which is right here right now, and the difference was just absolutely amazing. 362 watts. 150 watts. They're both catching the exact same sun. There's not so much as a the smallest shadow on either of the strings. 
And then if I was to sit here and just run this camera uh, a lot more, eventually this will start creeping back up. Sometimes it may take a half an hour before it starts to decide, oh, it's not fully charged. Where Victron, there it is. You know, the sun has changed its angle a little bit, but still 360 watts pushing 25 amps. Everything just going full tilt. It wants to get to 100% charge. And this one, yeah, not so much. That's why we're pairing up the Victrons. Glad I caught that. That was a good one to show you guys. Okay, it's the next day and I just finished getting this tied up together and turned it on. It is all working perfectly. Huh, it took an hour and about 20 minutes to get that completely done, everything reconfigured. Now I can put the cover on my solar panel isolator box. Uh, I did throw in another uh, breaker off the positive lines of each controller. This one is for the one that's here on the left, and that one is a new one for the right. Everything went together very, very nicely. Very happy. And the best thing is, right here, I've named that... Uh, that top string is just called the chins, and then the new one I just named the chins, which is the lower string. And we can see that there is only 7 watts difference between what's coming in. Top string's got 368, 361 on the lower string. The amps current, almost identical, 25.9, 25.2. That's what I was looking for. Now I'm going to be able to, to keep this uh, battery bank up to uh, full much faster. And just as a side note, yesterday I, I went ahead and let the EP Ever and this uh, charge controller finish out the day of charging so I could give you a indication. This had 1.82 kilowatt hours put into the system yesterday. And the disconnected now EP ever put in 1.1. And that's, like I said, the typical difference that I've been seeing. So on yesterday, the, uh, the Victron outshined the EP ever by 700 watt hours, uh, which is, you know, too much of a difference for me, especially with the kind of intermittent clouds and stuff like that that we get here. I want something that moves fast, keeps it wide open until it's truly fully charged. So, man oh man, I'm happy. 370 watts, now there's a 10 watt difference and, and uh, maybe half an amp to an amp difference. No big deal there, so huh, very happy to have that done. And there, got the cover on the uh, isolator switch. <laughs> for the battery panels, or for the solar panels, excuse me. Now, before I would ever uh, come in here and work on anything again, I can just flip the solar panels off, disconnect the battery, uh, shut everything down, disconnect all my little breakers and stuff before I start turning wrenches, which is what I did today. I didn't have this second isolator switch hooked up to that EP ever, and I was, had this one, and I just went ahead and tied it in today, so now everything has very fast disconnect switches. I really like this cover. Pretty nice. Very, very happy. Side by side, working, pulling almost identical. I mean, so close, I'm calling it identical. Probably just a little bit of variation on the uh, lower string to the top string today just because of what time of day it is. It's getting to be late afternoon, but I'm pumping about shoo, close to 60 amps of power into this. Yeah, good shape. Here's the scene of the activity. That's all it took to get everything done. Great. I'm gonna call it a wrap. Thanks as always for tuning in everybody. We'll be back in a few days with another project. I'm kind of behind on a few of them. Aloha.
Oh, I'm glad that job's done. I was crouched down in an awkward position for a while. It's hard standing straight up now. 